I was saying, I haven't played the first Amnesia since, like, 2011, like, 2012. So it has been, like, eight to nine years. Well, almost ten, depending on... I forget when I actually played it, but it's been a long time since I played first one. Amnesia, when I played the first one, actually scared the crap out of me. Like, the first one was actually really terrifying. There was a lot of puzzles to it, too, but, I mean, most horror games have a lot of puzzles. This is, like, like a stealth horror game, which is gonna be very unfortunate for me. Uh, but when I played the first one, because, again, like... Jump scares, I've always been the kind of person, like, people who say that, um, jump scares are scary, it's like, of course, because it, 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 what do you call it, it kind of, like, causes your body to do that fight or flight kind of thing, and it's like, you almost always get scared of jump scares. Like, it's very rare to find somebody who doesn't get scared of jump scares. And I don't count those as being, like, scary games, because it's, it's so easy to get people jump scares. Which, is the, like, what I see as scary is the psychological and atmosphere horror games. Like, those scare me. Like, um, Layers of Fear 1, not 2, um, Amnesia, like, they do a really good job of making the atmosphere really, like, creepy and scary, and it's kind of, like, psychological, too. Like, those games are the games I find scary, because, like, jump scares, of course, are gonna get me and stuff, like, um, so I don't, I find them as, like, cheap scares, whereas, like, the atmosphere and psychological wars are all a lot harder to pull off. Um, like, a sound is really important in horror games where, like, a lot of jump scares will, like, be really quiet and, like, do, like, really, like, loud sounds, which is good. That's what horror games are supposed to be. They're supposed to be really good with their sound. But, like, the psychological and, um, atmosphere horrors are really good about making, like, the, just the area around you feel eerie. Like, I'm editing my playthrough of Alien Isolation right now, and there's a lot of areas where it's almost completely silent. And it's, like, really scary when, like, there's almost just silence. Because it's, like, it just feels off when things are quiet. But, yeah, it was, like, for people who have seen Outlast, it's kind of similar. It's a lot... Well, again, I don't know how this one's going to be. But in the first game, there was a lot of these enemies that you couldn't kill. And you had to avoid it. It's, like, a whole stealth, hide, sneak around kind of game. Um, it was really good. I've heard mixed reviews on this. Mainly from Pebbles. <laughs> uh, but a lot of people, like, either say, like... You know, they really like the plot, but they hate the gameplay, or they just didn't like it all together. Um, but we'll see. I always like to like my make my own opinion. Sometimes it gets, again, like, um, especially critics, like game critics, I usually never agree with game critics. Game critics will be like, oh, you know, this game was great, and I'll be like, it sucks. Or they'll be like, oh, this game sucks, and I'll be like, oh, I loved it. Same with movies. I don't, I don't follow critics for movies and stuff. Yes, I would like, that is the tiniest window. <laughs> How tiny is that? Where you can, can you read the tiny text? If I squint my eyes really hard. Why is it so tiny? Can I make, oh my god. <laughs> it's probably because of the it's, yeah, it's fine. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, Complete Darkness, my favorite. Is there a lantern in this? I feel like it's He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human. Dr. Samuel Johnson. I, but then you're... What? He removes himself from the pain of be What? <laughs> Is this like a Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde thing? Daddy, please don't kill me. <laughs> that voice sounds like something from Dark Souls. I swear that somebody did some voice acting for Dark Souls. It sounds way too similar. Like some sort of concert. <laughs> the band's about to come on. Yep. This is fine. <laughs> I put a clip of Belt in your general Discord. Did you? <laughs> I just re I just realized who Belt was after like you said it. I just like realized the joke again. Like I said, like the joke went like near <laughs> until I was like, oh, you're being lazy today. <laughs> Yeah, this is Amnesia. This is the second one in the series. I am going to be playing Rebirth after this, but I wanted to play this one first because I haven't played this one yet. I've only played the first one, and like I said, it's been like nine or ten years. Also made another rotation around this one, too. <laughs> Damn, son. Curses. Everything goes static static, and me, me no like he's static. Uh, yeah, static is the one thing that drives me crazy. It drives me more crazy than like, well, it depends on the static. Static does kind of terrify me a little, little bit. But it more drives me crazy. And from the outside, all you could hear was someone please unlock the door while I'm screaming. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. I got these games too, but still need to play them. They're good. Um, they're definitely like very atmosphere. Like there's not a lot of like talking in a lot of them. 
Um, they're just very, like, atmosphere. Oh, God. I am drunk. <laughs> no wonder I was sleeping on the floor. If you don't like horror, you should go by the... <laughs> I was gonna say... <laughs> I think I was like, you should leave. <laughs> yeah, this is about to get, get a little spoopy. But I will I get scared is the question. I mean, the first one scared me. The first one was definitely scary. Um, but it's more like... I have to ask, like, do you get scared with, like, atmosphere and psychological horrors? Because it's more like that. It's not, like, big, like, jump scare city. It's just more, like, build-up suspense horror. Um, I haven't played this one, so I don't know. What are the controls, by the way? Well, this is crouch. That is the slowest crouch. This man be doing the slowest squats. You would have... Your buns and thighs would be very, very good. Let's jump. That's my journal? That's an accrues to me as it... I feel you, it's too early in the morning. I feel you question, how hard did everyone take for, uh, wait, how hard did everyone take for the first horror movie game? What do you mean? Like, how hard was it? Like, how scared were you afterwards? The game was pretty scary. But again, like, the reason it was scary is because it's like, uh, in the stuff that happens in those games. Oh, so only game I can think of that scared me with the atmosphere is Outlast games. It's kind of like that. I like to compare it to Outlast. Maybe not as aggressive. Like, you know, like how the guys in the asylum are like really aggressive. And at last, like, they're aggressive in this, but I think what scares me the most is that there's a lot of moments where it's, like, dead silent. <laughs> it's, like, dead silent, and just the, the environment around you feels really eerie, so you feel, like, really off. Um, or, like, how were you at night? Oh, like, I watch horror movies and games, like, so it's never, like, made it hard for me to sleep or, like, have nightmares or anything. It's, I've never had a game do that to me, but it was definitely hard for me to, like, play it sometimes because it felt really scary. Movie games in general, movie games in general suck. Last game to accurately scare me was like Silent Hill 4. Last game to accurately scare me was probably like Layers of Fear, like the last life, like the, oh well no, actually no, that's not true. The last game to actually accurately scare me was Night Delivery, <laughs> which was I played during my last 24 hour stream. My first horror game scared me to stay up till 6am. I've never had anything horror do that to me. I mean, maybe when I was like seven and I watched Chucky for the first time, yes. I was scared of dolls for a long time. <laughs> Uh, but that was also I was sent. Um, yeah, that's a good aggressive. Yeah, they're a little aggressive. They're not as aggressive in here, but again, I haven't played the second one. I don't count jump. I don't count jump scares either, because jump scares is just a um, natural response. It's just your body doing the fight or flight. I don't count those. Those are cheap scares. I count more atmosphere and uh, psychological horrors, because those are actually like that's hard to pull off. Well, mine was Five Nights at Freddy's, so so jump scares. Jump scares are cheap. Yeah, I don't count jump scares because it's it's e so easy to pull off. Watching the place horror games before falling asleep. Easy, am I? It's like. I think it's like, I was, I, cause I'm a part of a horror group on Facebook and I think it was like one in 10 people who can like watch a horror movie or like people who can watch a horror movie and go to bed and not have nightmares or, or like, there's like a one in three chance that they're like psychopaths or like slightly it's psychotic. And I was like, oh, <laughs> good. thanks for telling me. <laughs> so that's my journal. So this is the interact. Okay. I think I'm good. Also this. <laughs> Hmm, is this to keep me from falling off the bed? Unless you imagine, like, in medieval times, like, you you ground your child and you're like, stay in your room! And then the child still acts out and you're like, now you're now you're banished to only your bed! And then you just keep your kid on your bed, you are grounded to your bed. Um, great, now to make me, me feel so so myself. That's why I was like, thanks, thanks Facebook for making me feel great about myself. Because that's why I was like, oh my god. I was like, when they told me, I'm like, oh, you might be a psychopath. I'm like, great, can I turn on the lamp? Lantern? Oh my god. <laughs> you grounded to your wall. Um, not psycho, more apathetic. Our psycho. <laughs> what the hell? Why well, kids fall asleep to watch horror movies, no problem, no nightmares and dreams. It, it, about them. That's why I was like, I don't know how true that is. <laughs> in my dreams, I see a man dressed in jagger skins and feathered like a bloody saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil on its tread and liberated us all. The Photide heat of the jungle mirrors somewhere behind my forehead. Um, the temple pounds, the blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive there. A rat? A damn rat gnawing through my brains? Eating its way into the world? Even the there's big words in this letter. Will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? These are scary thoughts. You need to talk to a doctor. That's what this is. <laughs> in order to move objects that are let enough to pick up light enough to pick up well excuse out of the way uh oh my favorite mask <laughs> my thing is that i have seen so many horror movies that it, i've it, exactly that's like um 
what do you call it? When I was playing, oh, Until Dawn, and there was somebody that was hoping for me to get jump scares. They kept, like, watching, and they were like, why don't you get jump scared? I'm like, you do realize I play, like, horror games a lot. <laughs> I was like, it's very, it's very hard for me um, to, like, get scared. I play so many horror games and stuff. Like, the atmosphere horror games still get me, but, like, jump scares don't get me as much anymore. Can I, I would like, can I not put out the mask? But I would like to put out the, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Eyes are scary to me. I don't think eyes, I'm trying to think something that's, like, really sweet. Mannequins still get me. But the reason I think mannequins get me is that they don't have, like, a face, so it freaks me out when things don't have faces. Hold the bounce of my moon. I've played the, I've played amnesia games before. Don't tell me I've played Daddy, Daddy, find us. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, Marco. <laughs> we're, we're starting off with hide and seek. I don't know. I don't like at the beginning that the ki person that was yeah, screaming daddy at me sounded like a grown man and now it's a child. Unless Durga jump scares you, then you jump. That's different. Durga's going to give me a stroke the, um, one day. Well, it's because like the door's behind me where he comes in and, I, and then I can't hear him through the headset of the game. So he'll come in and I won't even like hear him. And it'll scare the crap out of me. Why are all these, by the way, like, locked? Yeah. Oh, love you too, Durgan. <laughs> I always think, see, look, you scared me there. Because, again, I'm so focused on streaming. What? Why does my vision go blurry? Because in the first Amnesia game, there was, like, what was called, like, insanity. That if you stared at the, like, demons. Yeah, see? <laughs> go give, like, there's sometimes, like, so Durgan's office is right behind me. And sometimes he sneezes, and he sneezes so loud that I can hear him while streaming through the wall, through the headset set, and uh, that scares me. <laughs> um, but in the first game, when your vision went blurry like that, was because you were getting stressed out and you were going insane because you were staring at the monster. But I'm staring at a bathtub. I hate mannequins because they built like a person and they aren't moving and I'm scared, but I don't see them um, there. Yeah, dolls and mannequins kind of freak me out because they're like so lifelike, but also not. It's kind of weird. It's like uh, they're in that middle ground where they're lifelike, but not. Um, bathing is the monster all. Bathing is the monster all along. Yeah, we just no more, no more showering. Always stinky. Oh, I don't want to go to the attic yet. <laughs> let's let's leave the attic for later. What is with these people having cages around their beds? I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. We lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. Oh. I will take care of them, my love. His wife died in childbirth. I promise you this. Wow, is this man needs a dark <laughs> I mean, so far it's very similar, other than that it's like more mansion than, um, castle. Papa, Papa, this way. I don't want to come to the attic. Oh. Oh, you want to play ball? Can I grab this? Throw. I'm throwing. How do you throw? Hold down R and move the mouse to rotate the object. I'm... I am doing said thing. Oh, where did? Hold up. Hold down R. And move the mouse to rotate the object to different angles. I need to see. This is doing nothing. What are you talking? Well, that's how you throw. How do you rotate? I'm trying to see how you rotate on control. Listen, listen here. I could zoom in. This oh, there we go. Anything in and out. Nothing good ever comes from the attic. Stay away. Is attics, basements, hospitals, and schools are like the things that you need to. Think, I think stuff. Think stuff. You think. Listen, <laughs> it's still early for me. Okay, children. I told you to stay downstairs. This is my office. This is Dad's workspace. You don't come to Dad's workspace. Hello. Oh, you can. Okay. Cause I know they talk really quiet. freaking out like I carried a, I'm like I don't know why you're freaking out a bed in my house I think not um because I know like the men it's so the hard thing the only thing I could give like the um criticism about, to this game already is that um if you go to the options it's one of those games that only has a master sound bar so it doesn't have a sound bar for like voices music sound effects so I had to gauge the entire game off of one soundbar and the music gets really loud in the menu um and like there was parts in here where it was like really loud when i was testing it um like i only got like five minutes in it wasn't very far and like so the sound and the, the music is really loud but they talk like this 
Do I not have the keys to my own house? I am not. Oh, this is this is not the attic. This is just the second, the third floor. What kind of house do you live in? How rich are we? Because this is the third floor. And the... Well, the children got themselves stuck upstairs. They could stay up there. A note has been added to your journal. A fever dream. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and um. Fakunda, what the fuck? Beckoned me to begin a descent to the loam where surely only bodies may be found. No matter my children call, I shall answer. I will find them. You know, words are hard for me. But sometimes I swear people make up words. I know these are probably words, but it's like, that was the thing in the first time they did a game. They throw words, threw words at me and I was like, I need a dictionary when I play this. Uh, but they slept in the attic when they were babies in arms and perhaps they have hidden there now. I remember I insisted upon it midway between my bedroom and my office. Your children were born in the attic? I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm just gonna yoink. Yeah, this seems fine. Oh, children. There's a bad man coming. There's a bad man coming? Am I the bad man? This seems... So why is the nursery in the attic? Did you just not like your kids after your after your wife died? Because it seems like they're twins. If there's two baby cribs, because he said like what the wife was um was still was the wife was still alive to see Eden, but wasn't wasn't what do you call it, died before they could see Enoch. So I'm guessing she gave birth to one twin and died at the second. I'm just saying, if my kid ever scared me like this, I would be scared I might accidentally punt them. <laughs> I was like, if my kid started running, <laughs> running down the hall, but you, you better watch out. I'm not scared. I'm, I'm, I'm not scared to eat something. Oh, this. So you keep your children's nursery next to, next to my torture devices. Makes sense. But kind of, this is you're the worst dad. Eden and the Anix Diary, October 11th, 1899. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is, is ever so busy. He has gone for work before she wakes us and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny who said it was a fiddly thing and hit it with a rolling pin. Oh my God. <laughs> oh look, dinner, smack. <laughs> Later we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. Then daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but I think he had been crying again. Also, am I a child? How tall am I? I am not that tall. I am short. Because I have a teeny hand. I am teensy. What is this? Ugh. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very concerned for these children. Also, I'm scared. I'm wondering, because in the first one, the lantern ran off oil. And I'm scared to like... I, I see I could go that way. Um, they keep my lantern on constantly because oil was like really scarce in the first one and I don't want to like just run out of oil when I need it. No? No window? A little fresh air? Teeny hint. <laughs> I just feel really short. I feel like the game's personally attacking me because this is like my height in real life. Eensy weensy. Save mon saves money. That makes sense. Yeah, my grandfather used to fix all the family cars, but he's at the age now that it's like he's too old to do it. Okay, finally here. Oh, uh, welcome, Dagan. We've been waiting. <laughs> We're hiding, Daddy. I'm just, I'm just saying. These kids, <laughs> I need some holy water. <laughs> Is that a... Nails! I need to, we need to call CPS on this dad. <laughs> First, he nails on the floor. Rads. Uh, what, there was like saws and tools next to the children's room? What is this? What is... Why is it always the stuffed animals that are the scariest things in horror games? I don't see any children. This looks normal. I was waiting to see like if the children were looking back at me like, You missed us! See like, I'm so confused by the layout of this house. <laughs> what kind of attic? Who was banished? Oh, because this was the dad's work room in the attic, I think, is what the, he said earlier. Was the Bible? What am I grabbing? The Bible? Apparently not. The Bible is too heavy. I My sins are too heavy. I cannot carry the Bible. What is that? Doink. 
a lot of <laughs> I see you do a lot of studying. I see you work very hard in your office. I have, I'm curious about these too, because it's like all their cabinets are like locked. Children. Oh, Enoch. Is it gets e Enoch and eat it, right? Enoch and eat it, right? It was. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, Edwin. Oh, my bad. My, not Eden. <laughs> Edwin. My bad. Ed and Ed and Enoch. Ed and Enoch. So these are oh they're like on everything. Are you are you what are you scared of, sir? That you have to lock literally every door and every drawer. Daddy. Listen, listen. I am getting lost in my own house, child. You can wait. Huh. I've seen a lot of pig sim symbolism here. I wonder if it has to do something with the title of the game. <laughs> Windows 11 is talking battery life. <laughs> Just slurpy slurp on the battery life. Hmm. I like the... Like, that's a lot of... That's a lot of art. Holy shit. This is the thing, though. Like, people have art... Like, in horror games, they always have art pieces that look like this. And I'm like, this is why your house is haunted. <laughs> Get, like, a picture of, like, Spongebob or something. Can I grab this? I could turn it on. Can I do this? I can do this. You don't mind if I record this, do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful command head builds. Uh, no, of course not, my dear fellow. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, why the Ministry sent me. That they have concerns. Don't leave me in suspense like that. They have concerns. I'm waiting. <laughs> to elaborate. No. You get nothing. What is this? Oh, don't tell me, because I remember in the first game, the reason everything was so, like, sp like spoopy was because somebody messed with something they shouldn't have. They touched something. It was like, and I've seen a lot of artifacts. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we touch something we should... Santa? Santa, it's August. <laughs> Santa, you have a... I know I'm wearing the hat, but you got to wait. It's only August, Santa. <laughs> Santa very aggressive. Santa got stuck. Santa? Santa, you okay? I'm just gonna light this. Santa is the end of it. It's, the end of it. it's, like, it's like, Santa, take the gun! I don't, I hate horror games where they like show guns and axes and stuff and, and the character's like, I'll be fine. All I need is my lantern. I'm like, what are you gonna do, spec with the lantern? No, I can't because you know, I need to preserve the oil. I'm like, so I just didn't realize Windows t um, 11 was like that much of like, what do you call it? Like an eater of battery life like that. Yeah, so far it looks like the lantern doesn't take oil, which is great. Sorry. I was like, is the door stuck? Because it wasn't moving. Also, there's a lot of genie lamps. <laughs> How many wishes did you need? Oh, there's a phone. Ta Can we take a gun? I'll just wait. I'll answer my phone first. Hello? Hello. Precious eagle. This is code eagle cactus fruit. <laughs> Do you copy? Yes, yes, Ed. Yeah, um, it's me. Use my code name. <sighs> cactus eagle fruit. <laughs> Do you copy? <laughs> What's this? The bankers are choosing credit. The ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep once the children and servants are safely asleep. When they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I've squandered my fortune. That my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? Um, what are these two um, arms compared to the multitude that can be applied without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills? But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle, my rifle, and I will shoot them. I'm like, I get, I, I don't like banks either, but damn. Um, I have a feeling that the machine for pigs is, uh, let me just tuck in my chair there, uh, is symbolism for, like, the government, like, you know, like, government swine, bank swine, like, like, how he said, like, those filthy swine. It's, like, for that. Yeah, because that's not sus at all. What did I do? I opened something, and I heard the clock. Oh. But the horse painting! 
How could you? Oh. Oh. This man is scared of... So what the... What kind of hellhole is this? What, are you spying on your own family? Sir? Also, what are these paintings made out of? Yoink. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what did that do? Oh, I'm locked in here, but... I'm stuck here now, it's fine. Was that pig mask there before? I feel like it wasn't. Oh, there's a note. To my, to myself. Replaced with, is this sat this factory? So like a pump, better the intestinal canal, like a tapeworm, already hosting intrusion and the breed. Brass better than copper, more resistant. Um, filaments sewn to bone hold. I'm so, what? Marrow pipe removal with needle potential. Composite replacement straightforward will respond to electromagnetic inducement to increase um, yield rate. Serum provide accelerated resetting result in naturalized movement within two to three days. Subject still requires severing of frontal lobe to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. Damn it, damn it, damn this wretched soul of only it were clockwork. Wait, so you are you turning a person into a machine? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like he's taking a person and trying to turn him into a robot. I understand that though. Unfortunately, there's like a lot of jobs that like really don't care about how their employees feel. They're just like, make me bad butts. Do the work. Why am I, why is my vision getting all, excuse me? These are some lovely paintings. Oh my God, you're spying on people in the bathroom? Sir, I got so many questions. This dawning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. Oh, good, 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 ripe for the, ripe for the, perfect. This is like a, this is like one of those houses that like you move a book and like the shelf opens. I'm not sure if the guy did this or if the house was like this before. At this point, I just think that, I just think the house shakes on its own. I don't even, I don't even think it's paranormal or an earthquake. I just think that this house is just, the way it's built, it just shakes. In Lily's honor, a banquet, Lil, Lilibeth Lily Mandas enter entered here on 26th of September 1890. The angels wept into glory with teeth sold for the dollies of the poor. They sold dollies? They sold teeth? And they put the teeth in the dollies? Oh look, the how um, the house is shifted again, goes back to, <laughs> goes back to, point. exactly. Oh, it's just the house. It's just an old house. It's fine, it does that. Hold. What do you mean run? Why are you telling me to run? Why is my vision going, stop doing that? This is my run. It's very, it feels more like a brisk walk. It's a multiplayer RPG game. Sounds like fun. Edwin and Enix Sire, October 3rd, 1899. Daddy says we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. We were playing hide and seek with Cook and he came and shouted at us. Just as we were going to hide behind Mr. Grumpy Teddy. Grumpy Teddy. Cook says it's because of the guns in there, but he always lets us help polish them. So it can't be that. Oh my God, I don't like the font. Anyways, that room is haunted. If you sneak around there at night, you can hear the ghosts in the walls behind the cases. They are often angry, or that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can hear them rattling their chains and slamming doors and things like that. We don't like it in there anyways. Excuse me. This whole house is just, there's a lot. The house is shifting. The paintings are not paintings, they're windows. I think this man's got some issues. Like, if you have to spy on your own family, oh my god. <laughs> you have to spy on your own family? I'm coming, child. <laughs> um, if you have to spy, I like that there's these. Because in the other game, you had to find like matchsticks and light the candles, and that kind of got frustrating. Um, if you have to spy on your own family, I think you have some issues. Can't believe the house is more of it. <laughs> Just keeps, it's like Harry Potter, the. the the staircase keeps moving. It's alive. Then it's just burping. It's got, it's gassy. It's all these children. It just makes it really gassy. St move stool. I need to stoke the fire. Why is this here? Because these are like journal entries. I must say, my dear man, you look Yes, I 
I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in Mexico. I do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled. Yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It so he made a factory. One man alone. It will all be made clear, Professor. But first, a drink. So I'm guessing he's saying what I've been through is like my wife dying and stuff in childbirth. Move stool, that's what I tell my stool the morning too when I wake. God damn it, Durkin. So when it's run again, it's this. It's weird, it's left trigger. I hear that. I hear they have wonderful parties in this room. Oh, oh, well, I'm blind. Well, they have some wild parties in here. Am I reliving memories? Is that what's happening? I don't kind of like when it goes blurry. What's this? Is this a note? Oh my god. I, uh, I, everybody just look in awe. I will not be able to say any of this. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, you're fine. Uh, there is no way I can read any of this. I don't even know how to start. I feel like I've just butchered a language. I don't want to do that to them. So it's like a song. Oh. This chair's not tucked in enough. Yas, yas. I thought I heard something. Load this house is huge! Like, this alone would be enough of a house for me. This one room. I Just give me this. Give me the dining room. I could put the bed over here, and a little kitchen over there, and a living room over there. The trooper, I would just, this just, every time I see a huge house like this, I just think of how much cleaning. You imagine how much cleaning you have to do? Oh my god, the dusting. But I think if you could afford a house like this, you could probably afford, like, people to clean it. I don't like people that have stuffed animal, like, taxidermy animals. What's with all the guns? Can you take, like, one of the guns? I'm outside? Court? I'm so confused by this house. <laughs> well, that's locked. There's nothing in here. There's a lot of these pig masks. But he doesn't like, my character doesn't like respond at all. He's just like, oh, it's just to decorate. Oh, you did, you did respond to something though. Oh, I've been not even paying attention to my journal entries. Um, the weeping rooms where one sweet, um, sat to weep Lily's passing under weapons that cannot slay the angels or retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, where once you watched her bathe. The children must have discovered these secret places to take your refuge. Wait, so wait, you want, you, you were stalking your own wife? <laughs> Sir, the voice on the telephone, he speaks as if he knows me and indeed I seem to remember him. Like a twin pulled away from the other at birth, I feel we are entwined. Though I cannot conceive of how, I am a drowning man grasping for the surface within my own house. Beneath me, I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark. If only I could find the entrances. That's not open portals. I've seen in many games that that does not end well. Um, on bears and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, how did you get to my trophy room? Oh wait, no, how did you get my trophy room to, um, to the guest bathroom so quickly? Um, everyone considered you quite the magician, my my darling little bit. My father's house has many rooms. As for mine, well, it also has its secret chambers. Oh, wink, wink. <laughs> Again, I'm thinking pig is like symbolism for like government people in power, because he already talked about how like the bank, the bankers were filthy swine because they didn't give him a bank loan. I, oh, why are you going blurry again? I hear children. I think your children are cursed. I think you just should just leave the house. Just leave the house to them and move on. I think your children... Yeah, or they're dead. I'm gonna take a guess your children are dead. Did you sacrifice your children? Did you turn your children into robots? Because there's that weird letter where you're talking about, I'm gonna sew the bone. And if only they didn't have a soul, they would be like clockwork. I'm like, oh. My favorite poem. Curse. Nah, only blood for the blood god. Yeah, only sacrifice. You're right, you gotta sacrifice the children. Okay, so we've come full circle. Cause I think this leads back to the dining hall. Yeah, that leads back to the, at least I think. Oh, wait. This is my pizza. Mandus, do you know me? No, wrong number, sorry. Where are my children? 
trapped, Mandis. Far below us. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is flooded. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Restore the power, Mandis. Drain the flooding and restart the great engines. So what? How? Where should I go? Hello? What, do you not even know your own Hello? house? He said below the house, Mandis. Pretty straightforward, Mandis. Apparently there's a machine under the house. Well, what about Blood for the Water God? I'd like to, yes. <laughs> what? what? You'd like some water or blood? Or both. Just mix them together. Like a cocktail. Hmm, good year. This is locked. Oh, another bathroom where I spied on my wife. Makes sense. Hello? Scrubby dub dub in my tub. At what point is a house too big? After this single hallway is too big. <laughs> when you when literally you could be at one end of the hallway and the the other and the other end of the hallway is so far that you can't even see it with the lights on. That's when you know a house is too big. <laughs> That's when you know you've done, you've gone too far. You've wasted your mud money. I don't know why you would need this much room. This is not the door I needed. Where is the door I needed? It was right by the phone. Oh no, this was. Here knocking. Hello? Hello? Can I go through here? This is blocked. He said I need to go down. He says I need to, um, what? Unflood the machine? Because the children are encaged? Also, it's really weird that in, when I go into certain rooms, it, like, lags. I noticed that. Well, that's not very pig-like. I'm very upset. This ruins the whole feng shui of the house. So I need to unflood something? Sir? What? Who knocked down this painting? We could just leave. Sorry, kids. I'm going to Disney World by myself. I told you to be ready by 8. Hmm... That's the only thing about amnesia games. Like, if you better be, if you want to play amnesia games, I know Mike is um, was is lurking in here. Um, if you want to play amnesia games, be ready for puzzles that you probably will be on for a while. Like, it's very like am amnesia is very like beats around the bush kind of thing. Like they'll like they're very obscure about what you need to do. And I remember the first one I had to look up a couple times because I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think the stool got angry that I threw it in the fire and attacked. Retribution of a fuck. Um, so, because it's very obscure what I need to do. It says I need to go down, but I have to figure out how to go further down. I feel like it's something that has to do with outside. He said flood the water? Splish splash? Hmm. Because right, amnesia games are never straightforward. I feel like I'm missing something. Because he did start to, like, talk. Like, I had, like, a little... Do I have any notes in my journal? No? Okay. Uh, he talked a little bit when I came in here. Like, I had that whole, like, memory about, like, his wife being like, Oh, darling. Oh. What? Why am I... Why am I... Why am I able to move the bear? What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh! Yogi the bear was in the way. Yeah, well. I got the scary music. You opened the door! <laughs> I remember this bear. Do you remember this bear? Why do you remember this, this particular bear? This one and only bear? Oh, what the hell? I'm just... I'm not, I shouldn't even be surprised at this point. Every time I'm like, what is what is in this house? I'm like, I shouldn't be surprised at this point. I shouldn't be surprised at what's going on in this house. Oh, I hear him like, 
Yeah, he's hearing like his memory of him like messing with the notepad. It's the only bear in the game. Oh. It's the only bear in the game. Fascinating. Why would I why would I need to come down here? It I just like it. It's the only bear in the game. You gotta take note on these things. This is a door. There's something I gotta move, I think. The valve? Turn! Hello? Hello? Children, it's time for dinner. Stop, oh you children, stop playing in the factory in my basement, which makes no sense. <laughs> oh you silly children. I feel like I did nothing. What did that do? Oh, I can't turn it anymore. Oh, well, apparently I've done it. All right, children. <laughs> This is like child slavery. Children, go work in the factory, but dad, go work in the factory. <sighs> I feel like that opened something. Or at least I hope it did. This? <sighs> Hello? Housekeeping? me into this room. <laughs> I know you're in there. Lily! <laughs> I don't think you're dead. That or you're haunting me. I think Lily's haunting him. Well, I mean, after spying on her in the bathtub, I'd come back and haunt somebody. So what did that do? I think I need to go outside. I feel like whatever I did did something outside. I'm looking. Did this open a gate? I feel like I need to get here. It's very foggy out here all of a sudden. Unless it was always like that, I just didn't notice. Hello? Well, there's this door. I thought I opened this door. No, I did not. Bathtub? Hmm. What? What? Oh, because I would have seen, I would, oh yes, you right, I would have, I should have known my lever was behind the painting. God, like, this is, <laughs> what, why is there so much cranberry juice back here? Sir? Sir, I have, I have more questions. <laughs> oh my God, no one could get privacy. This what is that? It is breathing, to that's not dead. That's breathing. What is that? It looks like a giant potato with arms. Oh, Mr. Mr. Potato Man, it's time to get up. Is that why everything's caged so they don't leave? Because I'd be scared if that started walking around the house. Especially when it has no legs. At least I don't think it has legs. I'm trying to turn the wheel. What is this? Oh, children, are you ready to go down the slide? Oh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> And there's more rats. Do I have to bring something back here? I feel like I have to bring something back here to put down. I'm just gonna close that. You just stay there. You just stay there. You, you stay safe and sound. Can I take the saw? No? Okay. Inside. There is no demon in this house. It's fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> there is no demon. Fuck. Damn it. I've released the demon. Oh no. It's leaving a stain on the carpet. What's happening? What is- Oh my god, that thing runs hella fast. That thing was hauling- Gotta get out before dad finds me, just runs. Hands are bleeding, raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? He did something. I think he did something. Like, he was a part of some sort of, like, like, I don't know, like, experiment or something. Because he keeps talking about that he made, like, a machine and he did these tests and stuff. And now he's, like, he's scared. Like, he can't hold his children because they'll know what he did. Old Sally, I, my old, old Sally, I, the dolly's coat hanger? 
Oh, she come a snuffling by night round ye door. Oh my God! With her pretty apron right down to her to the hoof, and her ringlets are fair and her eyes china blue, like a half buried hand in the wintry snow. Ooh, <laughs> like a hand in wintry snow, and she'll beg you for apples through the windows ajar. Her face will be hidden. But her eyes shine a flame, and though you'll be tempted, her bosom so fair, so snatch you and catch you and eat out your heart. Oh, <laughs> and she'll catch you and eat out your heart. Um, so look to your uh, manners, come manners. So look, look to your manners. Come to the eve of the year, Le lest Sally's comes calling for apples, my dear. And know that some doors near should should open wide. Take heed of your father and keep safe inside. Disobedient children make Sally her her pile and warn Sally's beastlies inside. Oh, this is a lovely poetry. That's the other thing. It's they're so obscure with their words in this game. I'm like, okay. Oh, weird potato mat, potato mat, Mr. Potato. It's time to go back to sleep. Oh, Mr. Potato. I don't know why I'm following Mr. Potato. Wait, but I saw him run over here, right? I swore I saw him run here. Mr. Potato? Yes? <laughs> it looked like a giant potato on a bed. Oh, Mr. Potato Man, did you open the gate for me? Oh, how sweet. Oh, no, you closed the gate. Well, you opened and closed. I guess you opened one way but closed another. So I have to go the long way around. Look like a giant meaty potato. So I think I go through here? Probably should be running. It's fine. Time to go to the factory. I am off the market. I will cry all the way home. <laughs> we we all the way home. I will have none. Is that supposed to be a reference all. to um this little piggy went to market? This little piggy hit say home. This little piggy went we all the way home. I feel like I'm about to get locked in. No? Come on, Daddy. It's this way. You sure? I'm actually surprised. It will let me leave. Wait. Wait, oh, this is where I opened the gate. If it's Mr. Potato, I'm going to make fries. <laughs> get back here. I need fries for my burger. You imagine how big those fries would be? Fries the size of staves. You'd be the potato wizard. <laughs> What's that? It's my staff. It's not a. It's not a French fry. Don't judge me. Oh. I feel like he did something. So you remember? People are gonna probably hate me for bringing this up. Remember in Full Metal Alchemist, when the guy tests on his daughter and the dog, and he makes a chimera. I have a feeling he tested on his children. Oh. I like to in the other room. No. <laughs> I have a feeling he tested on his children. Cause he's trying to look for his children and he can't find them and every time he sees them he kind of slightly goes spoilers what do you mean spoilers <laughs> have you not seen that no no listen <laughs> i'm just saying it just reminds me of that like i feel like because every time he sees his children he slightly goes crazy or he has like this big like traumatic event like this so i have a feeling like something he did something to his kids no huh spoiler you haven't seen full metal alchemist holy shit and you've never seen, I'm pretty sure you've seen that, like, that's like a, that's like a meme now. Well, not really a meme. That's like a big scene from that. Like, a lot of people, even people who haven't seen the, the show see that. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, no, Athena Pebbles, it's fine. Full Metal Alchemist, yes. The one scene. With a dog. And a girl. That scene. We were talking about that. <laughs> Pebbles heard spoilers and raised the baby. <laughs> Pebbles was ready. The whole, yeah, you right, you right. I'm just saying, like, I have vibes that, like, I feel like he did something to his own kids. Like again, because every time he sees his kids, oh, screw it. This is a much, much faster way to get down. Who needs stairs? That's nothing bad. Not, that nothing bad. Nothing bad happened. Yeah, you right, you right. You're right. 